Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, everybody, good morning on this Monday morning, the 23rd day of January. It's breezy and cold, chilly out here this morning. We've had some showers and uh, the grounds are wet, wet out here. My name is Rich, or what's left over, uh, what's left of Rich here after um, a marathon weekend. I didn't have a lot of sleep and I'm operating on fumes uh, this morning uh, from four severe weather episodes from Friday till yesterday. And oh my gosh, my heart goes out to the people around the southeastern U.S. So many people died in tornadoes this weekend. Oh, I think the death toll last time I looked is 15 from dozens of tornadoes, including that EF3, that terrible storm that ripped through Hattiesburg, Mississippi. All right, we move on today. We talk about not only this windy, cool weather now, cold weather fans, the front you're looking for, the front you've been waiting for for a long time is coming in late Wednesday night, Thursday morning. We'll look at the new numbers and talk about uh, what's going to happen as far as any storm systems over the next couple of weeks. Are we going to be dealing with any more big storms? All of that coming up in your morning weather video, which starts right now. You got a second? There is still some severe weather down in South Florida this morning, tornado watches and warnings, and still some rain left over in East Alabama this morning as I make this in the middle of the night, which will be moving out later on this morning from that dynamic storm system that brought so many tornado reports. You know, I'm just going to show you a sample here. There's 31 yesterday, 31 tornado reports, and uh, five more, and then five more the day before. That's 41 tornado reports, not necessarily 41 tornadoes. We'll find out that out later. Six, uh, 400 reports of severe weather, and there's the big storm. In the Carolinas, moving out today, windy and colder back behind it today with winds gusting to 30 miles per hour at times. High temperatures in the upper 50s, maybe a leftover shower this morning. Tonight slowed down to about 39. And then as we look towards tomorrow, a really nice January day with sunshine and temperatures in the low to mid 60s, I think. It's going to be a good day. And then there's another front coming in Wednesday night. Uh, and I don't think it'll be severe. We'll watch it. But uh, I think uh, Wednesday night, showers, and then into maybe in the Thursday morning, then breezy, colder back behind it. And the start of a really cold period you'll see in a moment as uh, this big block of cold air comes out of Canada and heads south. I know, cold weather fans, you've been hearing about this and waiting for it for a long time. Let's look at some numbers here. So we spike uh, with 63 tomorrow, 71 on Wednesday. And then the big drop as temperatures are windy and colder on Thursday. And then Friday, some low 35 to 33 on Saturday morning. Highs only in the low 50s. A big change. We're going to burn some firewood this weekend. So you got the showers Wednesday night into early Thursday with cold front coming in. Look at the big drop from the Wednesday high to the Monday morning low. Wow, that is uh, sharp, and uh, cold weather fans are happy about that. In fact, let me show you some numbers. This is numbers off the European showing the warm uh, day on Wednesday and then the big cold five days late in the week and in through uh, the early part of next week before we start to moderate a little bit again. But I think there are going to be a lot of cold weather episodes in our future as we go into February and March. Uh, it's not going to be cold continuously, but there will be many episodes of cold weather. So uh, cold weather fans, we are not done with winter yet. Hey, have you got our weather app yet? A lot of you uh, downloaded it over the weekend. Uh, many of you found out that it, it really is a great thing to have, especially during severe weather because it really keeps you on top of what's going on and it alerts you when you're sleeping too with verbal uh, uh, alerts. Get it on your phone or tablet and tell your friends about it because uh, uh, we're going to have some more bad weather. You know that. Hey, a special hello this morning to you about you know, roughly 450 new people who uh, joined this group over the severe weather weekend. Uh, we're glad to have you here. Uh, I get up at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning and make these videos. They're on by, online by 5. It's kind of like your morning weather briefing that you can... Uh, uh, actually watch over a cup of coffee uh, and um, uh, we're, we're glad to have you and plus a lot of people downloaded the weather app over the weekend pass the word around about that I'll be live on the radio this morning on News Talk 93.1 and also on Bama Country there'll be another video tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. I hope you have a great day today thanks for sticking with us over the weekend and I'll see you later okay Rich Thomas Weather.